What's up guys, Sian Maduna speaking here and this is officially my first YouTube video on my channel. Basically my channel is going to be a vlogging channel. So vlogging meaning it'll be about my life and what I do and how I'm living my life in adventure. It's going to be something very spontaneous, something different to most of the, cha most of the channels that everyone watches. So what better way to start off this channel by Q's and A's so that you guys can actually understand me and know a bit more about me. So um. I'm answering a few Q's and A's that I got on Instagram and Facebook. So first one is Usim Piwe Zulu. He asked me, what's the toughest transition from schoolboy rugby to varsity cup slash pro level? So personally, what I saw was obviously the physical part. That's a, that's a massive change. But um, your, your mindset, to be honest, your, your mindset is the one that plays such a massive factor in your game and your confidence that you have within that. That's what plays a massive factor in you moving up the ranks in rugby in a way. So... Yeah, mindset and, and confidence. That's that's what I found out to be difficult. Next was Moses. <laughs> Moses asked, which football team do I support? So guys, Gunners are the way to go. The Gunners, guys. Oh, hi, guys. You see, the thing is, I, I love underdogs, guys, because my whole life, I've always been an underdog. Still am an underdog. Being underrated, just like the Gunners. And that's... And I guess I can just relate to that. That's why I like them so much. Same with rugby. Like here in South Africa, I support the cheaters. It's just underdogs, you, you never know what to expect. And that's the best part about it. You know what I mean? It's prime example is Tom Brady. That guy. I'm just going to read a few that I got from Instagram as well. Rachel sent me like 10 million of them, but I'm not going to answer all of them because she knows the answer to most of them. But I'm just going to answer like two of them. Um... What motivates you for a game? Um, personally, what motivates me, guys, is is a chance of being able to play with someone that's getting the debut. It's a chance of being able to play with a youngster that's that's so eager to learn. I'm not saying I'm old, but <laughs> now, nah, guys, yo, I'm getting very old. So that that's what that's what motivates me, and and just taking in my taking my surroundings. That's that's what actually plays a massive factor in my game. Favorite artist from Rachel as well. My, my favorite artist isn't Eminem. I don't like Eminem. <laughs> but personally, it all depends on the mood I am. I'm a very flexible person. That's, that's literally the same like my personality. So I would probably say it depends which. So on Saturdays when I have like a bride and stuff like that, family brides and all that, I would usually listen to Kygo, Post Malone, Khaled, like mellow, chilled out music, you know what I mean? Just to make you chill out. But then obviously when you're in the gym and stuff, you can't listen to those things. So yeah, definitely uh, a bit of Ro Roadie Rich, Road Wave, uh, those, those type of artists, I listen to those as well. And last one from Cameron. What is the biggest life lesson you have learned? Biggest life lesson I've learned, guys, is that you've got to be selfish. You've you've got to look after yourself at the end of the day. You've you've got to do what's best for you. And during this whole pandemic and lockdown, obviously lots of people have time had time to think and and think about things. So I also had time for that. And I found myself thinking if I'm actually doing what is best for me, you know what I mean? Like the simplest thing of how people actually don't really know who I really am. And that's that's a sad part of this whole rugby life. Is that people want to know about your rugby more than they want to know about you. And that's a sad reality of it, guys. And just just don't fall into the trap of, oh no, they really care about me. They don't care about you. They just care about what you're going to give them. Right, guys, that's it. That's it. My first official youtube video is officially done if you guys liked what i spoke about if you guys are excited to see what i've got next make sure you do like and subscribe to my channel because i'm so excited to start this this vlog and just express myself as it is cheers guys be good